Hello, everyone. I'm Yamino, the artist of Sister Claire, and I'm joined tonight by... The one, the only, the incredible, the indelible, Ash Barnes. I write the missing moments, and I help Eleanor write the comic. We're also joined tonight by... Former worm wrangler and resident rat tamer, Sarah. I no longer work at the worm world, guys. I have a different job. I don't think they can hear you, Sarah. No? Not at all? I mean, I you're, you're very quiet over there. Oh, okay. I'll use my loud stage voice. Use your outdoor voice. <laughs> We're not outdoors. You have to do that. Tune. So tonight I'm going to be working on some uh, Patreon story illustrations. I've never drawn a young Marguerite, so I'm going to have to figure that out. Just look up pictures of young Maggie Smith. <laughs> I do have this picture of younger Marguerite, but she's still way older than she needs to be here. Here. <laughs> mm. So, how's everybody doing tonight? They're sitting on a rock, right? Uh, I think they're just sitting on the sand. Okay. Big sand. Well, I mean, she's huge. Not Marguerite, but... Chat's asking how y'all are. I'm doing all right. TGIF. I'm doing good. I finished all of my exams and I am going to graduate. Yay! New job, no school, ready to move on. God, the other side's all photo fine. Look at this. It's like Voldemort as a seal. <laughs> Look at that ash. Mm-hmm. It's pretty intense. Is that, isn't that from uh, a oh, movie? That's maybe it is. <laughs> <laughs> that's the new seal. Yeah, that's the seal design designed by Don Bluth. Oh. You can tell it's a villain. <laughs> uh, that was a joke, by the oh. way. It it just looks like a Don Bluth villain. <laughs> I was about to say that was not me. I still haven't watched the Goofy movie. Hmm. Is somebody talking about it in the chat? No, I was just reminded by Ash. Talking about Don Bluth. Mm -hmm. That's not Don Bluth. What? It's Goofy. Why oh, would it be Don Bluth? Yeah, you're right. I mean, Don Bluth did used to work for Disney, but not that recently. Hmm. It's just, I don't know. I guess the style reminds me. I'm assuming this person is naked, right? The selfie is naked. Yeah. And in her humanoid form. Yeah.
uh, Zach says that the seal is from Happy Feet. Yeah. yeah, that's what I was trying to remember the name of. I listened to that movie recently. I don't remember where. Or did I watch it with y'all? I watched, watched it. it. Yeah, I watched yeah, it. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Feel so lonely. I can't die. Oh, I don't really know what I'm doing with this person. She's supposed to be younger looking too, but like from the back, I don't think it's really going to be apparent. Mm -hmm. Seffi said, whoa, Soki Mom is big. Big one. She big. I'm giving young Marguerite a big hat because I think <laughs> she likes those. They look good on her. It's I night in the live. I think big hats work for your face too, Elena. It's not my style. <laughs> Flame Rider asks, I've been keeping this question in my head for a week, Elena, Ash, and Sarah. Have you ever made a Mary Sue? Um, you must have missed all of the live draws where I've talked about my Star Wars Powerpuff Girls Sailor Moon crossover <laughs> OCs that I made back in, like, middle school. But, yes, I have. <laughs> I shouldn't say more about them. Describe so, the main one was my self-insert, and she was based on a Powerpuff Girl character that I had made who the Powerpuff Girls adopted, and she drank Chemical X, and she turned into the orange Powerpuff Girl brownie. And then I got into Sailor Moon while my brother was really obsessed with Star Wars, and I converted her into a Sailor Moon character because there weren't any more real planets, so I made her Sailor Naboo, and her weapon was a double-bladed orange lightsaber. And... Um, Everybody, she was to Darth Maul. every yes, everybody had a crush on her because she was the best at everything. <laughs> she was really wacky and funny, and everybody thought she was really charming and fun. That's so funny. Yeah, and I wrote fanfics about her. <laughs> Ash, did you ever write one? Did you write characters much when you were younger? Yeah, I did a lot of writing with friends and stuff. I didn't really stick to one particular character, like, I would make a new character for different situations. Um, there was never one that, like, stuck across years and fandoms or anything. I didn't really tend to make, like, if it was a world that I had created with someone else, we would, of course, make, I mean, every character, and that would be original. But if I was ever, like, messing around in a world that was already existent, I didn't usually make original characters. Hmm. Sailor Naboo went on to um, be together with my imaginary friend, and they had 
through lesbian magic, a daughter, and she was also like a clone, and all the other clones that had been engineered by the evil scientists who made her had died, and she was blind, and she had a friend who was like her seeing eye dog, but also he could turn into a person. I think I threw him in there. That so just, animals. I think I threw him in there because I was just getting self-conscious about how gay everything was, and I was like, I'll put a boy in there, and it'll throw everybody off. <laughs> but I, it was really obvious that I didn't care about him at all. Like, no, I don't even remember his name. <laughs> I didn't design characters much when I was younger. I mostly drew uh, animals and things, but I would draw these really angsty-looking, scrawny, bony, or grotesque animals. So that was my Mary Sue kind of phrase. That's the closest I got. Good question. Good mm -hmm. question. Does she look too sedate here? Should I make her a little bit more wide-eyed? I mean, it, it depends what part of the story. I think she's fine. Okay. Brother Nerd said, So, I actually was wondering some things about the Throne of Mare swordsmanship contest that Oscar entered. Mm -hmm. Okay, go for it. They ask, first, what is the age that is expected, as that seems to be one of the factors for entry? I think they're looking for people who are in their late teens, early 20s. Uh, I doubt many people who are Tons older would really be interested in joining the guard since it is quite rigorous. Um, so, yeah, pretty young people, young adults. How old are people usually when they're uh, going into the military? 18. Yeah, so I'd imagine it would be close to that age. Yeah, I for, I'm, I'm sitting here now trying to remember what I said the entry age was. I think it was, was it 17? Or was it 16? It's been here since. We yeah, it's it's been moment. it has been a while since I wrote that missing moment. Mm There was definitely an age put in the in the missing moment. Let me 
Let me go look at it. It's bothering you now. Okay. Well, no, some someone said that they didn't think an age had been put, and I'm like, oh, no, mm-hmm. there is definitely an age because it's an issue. Mm-hmm. Like, Oscar can't apply on her own unless she, she has to have a sponsor because mm-hmm. she's too young to enter without one. Old enough to enter next year, and yeah, um, the entry age is sixteen. Oscar's fifteen. Mm-hmm. During the time frame of Eden, who would have been overseeing it? Would it still be Josephine who'd be right there? Yes. Yes, it still would have been Captain Josephine. My hands feel shaky, and I don't know why. They feel like I haven't eaten, but we had dinner, and I don't know anymore. Hmm. Maybe, I mean, it's not because you're cold mm-hmm. anymore. No, it has, it's that weak kind of like, you need to eat food feeling. Like that. Mm-hmm. I don't sugar. It. Have some sugar. Yeah, I'm, I'm having some. Yeah. Put it under your tongue. I haven't had a lack of sugar today either. Maybe actually I've had too much sugar and not enough real food. That's that more, always does me in. more likely the cause because I had like Cracker Jacks when I was really starving earlier and then I had um, that really nice almond cake from Blue Dot. Oh, those are so good. Aw. I'm looking at a comment that I made. Mm-hmm. Um, on the comic three years ago, I was answering somebody. Mm-hmm. And I said, my younger brother is still is 24 and still growing. Mm. Not much, but some. If mm. I was if I wasn't going to be twenty eight in a few months, I'd be holding out hope that there was still a chance I'd reach five two. Oh. <laughs> <Aww. laughs> pie. Hey, I know how you can reach five two. Get some shoes, mm. platform shoes. Do they still sell those kind of Spice Girls platform shoes? Because I want oh. some. Oh them. yeah. <laughs> Flame Rider says, um, Ash, I'm 15 and uh, I'm taller than you. Sorry, not sorry. Darlin, most middle schoolers are, are taller than me. So I can't say this upsets me considering I'm very used to it. I like Marguerite's very serious expression while this huge naked woman is lounging in front of her.
Hmm. Oh, Jackster Queen thinks this is Gabby. They said, looks like Gabby wants Margie to draw her like one of her French girls. <laughs> That's not Gabby. That's, um, well... A different silky. That's a different silky. That is way too big to be Gabby. Gabby's teeny tiny. I mean, she's not tiny. But she's also not a behemoth. Yeah. Okay. I'm done with each one, I think. Brother Nerd says, was Gabby even born yet? Oh, no. <laughs> no, no, not even close. This is an acceptable age, right, for Nib to look in these pictures. Mm -hmm. 